Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee in a Fresh Cup and Art in the Morning, Monday morning. Thanks everybody for being here. We already did a studio update and showing some sketches and stuff. And now I'm going to do some big sketches back on the uh, Art Scroll, which the Art Scroll is just a big roll of shipping paper, craft color, you know, craft shipping paper. So we're going to draw some chickens. So I got out my, this is my case of uh, black and white it's not everything, but it's like like one of everything. <laughs> My pens on this side, pencils on this side, it's all black and white, except I have the occasional red. Here's a red pen there. But it's pretty much all my drawing accoutrements in black pen and pencil. If y'all want to see me do a, like, I'll go through every one of these and tell y'all the names of them. I did that a few years ago. I probably added some things, maybe subtract some things since then. But uh, if you want to see all my different sketching pencils here. Anyway, I'm just pulling out some white Conti crayon. And it's, it's, um, it's, not, it's not chalky like chalk. The Conti crayons, they're, they're still sort of soft like chalk, but they're not, and they will get a little on you, but they're like oil, they're more oily. They're not that dry chalk feeling, that dry chalk feeling. I don't like chalk. Let me just get a bit, because that's all I need is just a bit to draw with. Um, it's not that dry chalk feeling. Do you want to be a green? I don't remember. No, let me know. Uh, yeah, people can go read the news on, yeah, not on here. We, don't, we, 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 um, uh, yeah, we don't, we try not to do controversy on the show. We try not to talk politics, religion, and health. <laughs> That's just, you know, we try to keep the show art based and fun based. Okay, so then I also have the black ones here. I have some black con you can't even see them in there, but there's crayon conti pens in there. And they're just not as chalky. But anyway, if you want to see some different kind of sketching pencils, I will um <laughs> damn it. I'll do a show and tell of that if y'all want to see that. Okay, so got a piece of uh, Conti crayon here. So I'm gonna pull my let's pull my roll back close to me here. And again, it's just a big roll of shipping paper, and it's rolled off the edge, and I know the sun's peeking through the blinds a little bit. It, it is what it is. I'm trying to keep the paper from, keep everything from flashing out. Um, let me if I put a little color up there, that'll help. But anyway, so we're going to start drawing some big chickens and painting them. And when I say painting, I just mean... Uh, not it's not they're not portraits guys these are sketches and if y'all missed um my studio update and sketch flip i did a, a flip through uh, a whole bunch of drawings that i did on this paper in this in right before this video it should be up hopefully and uh shown how what things you can draw if you like drawing on craft color paper and you just want to do some sketching and drawing, but you don't want to, like, maybe don't want to do it in a sketchbook, because you can buy, you know, uh, and I use them. I use them for my portraits, the Strathmore Tone Tan Paper. Uh, but if you just want to do some plain and sketching and doodling, whether it's with, you know, paint, marker, whatever, and you want to do it on craft paper, just go buy you a big roll of the craft color shipping paper. Well, that's what we're going to do. All right, so I want to find a picture of a chicken. <laughs> uh, I did show earlier in my summer sketchbook, and I, I, I only showed it because Jean came here. Jean is our, um, sh she's a music teacher, well, retired music teacher who's played bagpipes. So <laughs> I did some chickens in my summer sketchbook, bagpipe playing chickens. <laughs> So it's Jean's Chicken Pipe Band. But anyway, so, <laughs> so we're just going to draw a big chicken. Um, maybe we'll do um, a white chicken and a rooster, you know. I'm just flipping through here. Oh, this one's kind of good. This one's kind of facing us. That one's kind of facing us. And we can just draw a whole bunch of different ones. And we'll see about coloring some different ones. Oh, oh maybe I should draw this one. <laughs> Sorry, can't resist. Um, all right, let's just draw. Let's just draw a chicken here. <laughs> 
So again, and I, I'm going to try to keep it in camera, and uh, we'll just draw a few chickens and see what we want to do with them. And with the Conti crayon, you can uh, you can um, this will erase too. You know, you can almost just like, but I usually just paint over it. I just usually paint over everything, the chalk and all. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so we want as big, um, her big, uh, there's a name for that, the top on the top of their head. And then when we go to paint it, okay, I'm trying, it's a little, still wanting to flash out, guys, I'm trying here. So you can just kind of get it sketched in, and whatever you don't like, you can almost rub it out. Or, where's my new eraser? <laughs> my new Tri, I love this eraser, Tri-Tip eraser. But I'm just, this is the sketchy part, where I'm just kind of getting it laid out, and then we'll go in there with uh, paint. And we can do a big fat chicken, or we can do uh, some skinny chickens. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I just want y'all to see that you can play and draw on craft paper. A <laughs> chicken protesting KFC. <laughs> no, I think that's the cows that uh, do, you know, they have the eat more chicken, you know. All right, let me move over a little. And the paper roll, the actual roll itself, is on the back side of my table. And I'm just pulling it toward me and unrolling it as we go. So we could probably do some cool feather action here. But this is what I love about the big roll. Is you can play really big like this, you know. And whether you draw, whether you do anything with it or not. Whether you paint it or just play with sketching. Or if you... Uh, Whatever. It's good practice to draw large. If you have any questions, put it in caps. Um, who is Hi Everyone? Someone's call, name is Hi Everyone, and they're watching from the doctor's lobby. <laughs> Let's make this one kind of go back this way. So I don't know who that is. Maybe have this leg a little. Uh, oh, Ange. Oh, yes, yeah, probably Ange. You're right. Hey, Colleen. Is it Ange? Hey, Ange. We're, don't be, you're at the doctor. Don't be a big chicken. <laughs> we're, we're pulling for you, Ange, <laughs> if that's you. And you can use the side of your Conti like that. So you get a big, you know. It's just not quite, it kind of does the same thing as chalk, but it's just, and it does get on your hand, but it doesn't feel as chalky as chalk. You know, so there's a big chicken there. Don't be a big chicken. <laughs> oh, it's Cheshire Cat, okay. <laughs> uh, it's Cheshire Cat. So anyway, so you can see, we'll just draw a few things. So, so there's that chicken. Let me see. Um, let me find. A, let's go find some more chickens. Maybe a couple where they're facing us. You know, facing different ways. Um, we will, we'll stay away from the chicken, fried chicken. Let's do um, chickens on the farm because I'm, I'm getting a. I'm getting a lot of uh, fried chicken pictures. <laughs> it's making me hungry. <laughs> uh, let's go with images. <laughs> and try to draw like a, a what is it? What's is it a clock? What's a whole bunch of chickens? Whole bunch of chickens are a what? Oh, here's a cool rooster. Now that one would be fun to paint. Let's. Um, Let's see, do I want that one though? There's so many good ones. You know, with some color in it. Maybe this one. This one might be a good one to color. Alright, so let me just roll down here. We'll get warmed up here. So now I'm just going to roll my scroll down. 
<laughs> Dee Dee, did I tell you signed up for art snacks? Ah, well you'll have to do some art snack um, reviews, Sarah. I'm not signed up for art snacks, and there's the other one too. I forgot. Sarah O said she signed up for the art snacks. So you'll have to do some videos. All right, so now again, all right, so I'm, if I want to fit it, I'm going to look at my screen here and see what I can fit in. So if I end the tail there, and I end his face like right down here, so I have this much space to work in. So I'm, I'm trying to keep, keep the, the rooster like right in this area here. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> a whole bunch of chickens is a $5 meal at KFC. Uh, <laughs> what is a bunch of chickens called? This is going in the wing nut. But, oh, the wing nut! <laughs> uh, chickens called Prisma. <laughs> a five dollar $5 meal at KFC Prisma <laughs> Wing that book Prisma Wing that book Okay, so let's get back to drawing a uh, rooster now <laughs> While someone's out there cutting some grass <laughs> Alright, so let's just see I, I'm going to have his tail is going to be like over in this area with some big feathers there and then his back he'll come down like that'll be like this and down and up and up like this his head doesn't come up quite as far so maybe right in there and then his big is that called what is that called on a rooster the the it's not a plume i forget someone probably just said it a minute ago little chicken lips <laughs> we, that's a thing my mother-in-law used to we used to say something about she could we say do chickens have lips <laughs> do chickens have lips <laughs> uh, a comb a comb thanks Debbie yeah let's write that down chicken lips and comb A comb, yeah. A <laughs> so is Ange here too? I don't know if Ange is here from the doctor's office or if it's just um, um, Cheshire Cat. Okay, so now we want him to be kind of fat. So let's come all the way down here. It looks like he's going to be standing on top of this hen. <laughs> Okay, so there's feathers there, feathers all in here. Remember, this is just a sketch. We're going to add paint. He needs to be a little bit thicker in his body there. Give him some nice big old, big old. <laughs> if he's going to be standing on top of this one. I'll have to look up chicken feet. So we got chicken lips, comb, and chicken feet. I like to write notes on my drawings. I mean, as y'all saw in my sketchbook, my uh, summer sketchbook. I like drawing, like, I like, let me come back to my, the one I did a video of. See, I write all these notes. Compare, here, over here I'm comparing the Viking and the Samurai dates. Like, when were Samurai, when were Vikings, the dates of them. 
I just like I like doing research on things so I do a lot of note taking in my sketches even if it's just where is it <laughs> jeans pipe band <laughs> sorry all right so <laughs> your nickname in high school was chicken lips <laughs> All right, so let's see about doing some painting, okay? <laughs> Even though there's some light, see that's light coming through the blinds, guys. The blinds are closed, but there's light coming through the crack cracks. <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, let's get out some um, like indigo, some light blue. I'm just gonna get out some acrylic paint. We're gonna get out. Uh, uh, Navy blue will work or indigo. Let's see. This one's darker. We'll go with a slate blue. We'll need black. I think I need to open. I'm just going to use a craft paints, guys. I need to, and I'll fix the lighting again. The sun just came beating through. Jeez. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's open a new one black, white, sienna, and red. White, sienna, and a red. This might be enough colors to do a rooster. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. That's not too bad. The, the light's a little off, but okay. All right, so we're going to start by just putting some colors out here. Um, I probably need a little ochre, too. Let's get a little ochre color. All right, All right so I'm going to put, we're just going to, we're going to just play sketching with chickens. <laughs> All right, and I should probably change my shirt because this shirt is not a paint shirt. It's a draw shirt, but it's not a paint shirt. I need more sienna, let's see. And then some navy blue, some like slate blue, or this is blue harbor, light blue, some highlights, some white, a little bit of red, and some black. shove my sleeves up so I don't get things on my sleeves. Okay, so let's see. Got some water here. Paint water. Some of the other stuff. Sip of coffee. Let's find a nice angle brush here. Maybe this one's good enough. Maybe a bigger one. Maybe this one's Probably that one's still good. Okay, we'll start with these. They're not small. And again, guys, that right there <laughs> is just the light. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this chicken. I mean, this rooster, then maybe we'll do the chicken underneath. So what I'm going to do is just start by blocking it in. Get my brush wet here. Let's move my water a little closer. If you have any questions, put them in caps. If you're watching on YouTube, bless your heart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start by blocking in the comb. I'm going to just block in the comb. And this, guys, you, you really don't be afraid just to play and practice. And, and just don't, you know, you got to have, I'm telling you. Y'all always say, well, yeah, I wish I had your imagination. You have to just play and practice. And and that's why I said, get you this huge, um, get you this huge thing of uh, craft paper. Maybe this will come up. Maybe we'll make him have almost like a, 
Do we want him to have like a mohawk kind of thing going on here? Then his, is this called, what is this, the waddle? What is this part here? The little under the chin thing. There's some here on the side of his face. beak is going to come out right there. Thanks everybody for being here. I think around his eyes got a little bit of red too. So we kind of blocked that in there. Okay, so there we go. This is start. Get a bigger brush here. And he's a black and, and, and sienna color rooster. Hey, pack or die. All right, so we're going to start with Sienna just to block in the feathers, and then we'll highlight them with the, you know, combination of the yellow ochre in there. So let's just block in this little baby here. This brush might be a little stiff. I might need to get a different one. We'll see. And you can just go right over the chalk. Well, the Conti pencil. So I'm going to have this kind of come down. Just block him in. We're just playing on the big, if you're just joining us, we're just playing on the big uh, art scroll, which is just a big roll of craft paper. Just, you know, guys, just play and have some fun. Whoops, picked up a little black there. I'll smear that in. This is all going to be overlapped, too. any questions which I can't imagine that you do <laughs> put them in caps okay let me ask you this how many are going to get them an art scroll now are you going to get yourself an art scroll to play in Gonna need some more black. I'm waiting to see who's gonna get themselves an art scroll. Maybe. <laughs> Vicky, maybe. I'm getting out some more black here. <laughs> fun. Am I the only one having fun here? <laughs> Eileen says, uh, no, but maybe I should have the cats unroll it for me. Oh, they'd have a blast, wouldn't they? The, the cats playing with it, unrolling it. They have some little bitty chicken legs there. I don't know what color... Do I want, I guess I'll just do them in ochre. Let me get the smaller brush back here. And just 
just block in the little chicken feet. Don't forget Janet, um, Monkey Island Madness is going to stream at 1. You have a pack of paper from Michael's that has the same paper in it. Yeah, the craft paper, yeah. The point of this, though, Colleen is working big. Being unafraid and working big. That's what we're trying to do here. All right. Let me move, make sure I'm not getting anything on my shirt here because I'm rolling this up and down. <laughs> All right, so now let's see. Let's maybe start with, uh, now we got to start with the under feathers here because we're going to go over the top. So let's roll back up here a little. All right, so now for the highlights, I'm going to get the light blue. So, no, wait, no, wait. First, I got to put the dark blue on here. So let's go with the dark blue first on top of the black. And it probably isn't going to show up much, but this is like the under feathers. So I'm just going to kind of pat those in because we're going to put light blue on top. So this is the... This is the feathers we're starting on now. And he's one of those black, or they're kind of dark, they're kind of iridescent feathers, I think. I think they're kind of iridescent. So I just want to get some of the blue on here. Because I'm going to put the light blue, irid make them shine. Okay, I just saw, because I'm on my iPad, I can see Twitter. Linda's using up some jelly plate papers while she's watching. You go, girl. <laughs> uh, very good drawing, and it frustrates me. You know, if you don't, you know, you won't know unless you practice. And, I, you know, I say that all the time, and people don't believe me, but, you know. Want some of those flicking over his legs there. Let me just have a little shimmer of blue. But even if you, and I know I've talked about my idea notebooks, even if you just have your idea notebooks, because you may not want to draw them now, but if you have ideas written down, your creativity will just be so much more if you do that. Write things down. And he's going to have a highlight of light blue going across his chest there. So. so I'm just putting some blue over the black. I walked away from my break and the chicken's on. So well, it's not really tatties coming along. <laughs> I walk away the chicken's almost done we're gonna fry them up <laughs> and we'll have a few kind of coming out different ways but mostly just kind of I'm kind of following the reference, but not exactly, because it doesn't. <laughs> every feather doesn't have to be, you know. Like I said, these aren't meant to be portraits. It's meant to be play. So you're the boss of your sketch. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna take. Because these are the under, you know, the feathers that are under this. So you want to get those done first. I'm coloring the winged lion in Fantasia. Ooh, okay, Jamie, let's look at that. Ooh. Let's see. The winged lion in Fantasia. So this is a Fantasia color book. Let's see what the winged lion. Let me find that. The winged lion. Because I haven't done it, so I'm looking. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. 
winged lion. There's the unicorn. <clears throat> ah, this one? I don't know. Is that the winged lion you're talking about? Oh, brother Prisma. <laughs> There's this lion in Fantasia. But he's more of a soldier. I don't know if that might not be the one you're talking about. Let's keep flipping. No. Okay, that's not it. Okay, then there's... Is that a lion? But that's not probably the one you're talking about either. Let's see. Hmm. And there's this line, which that's not a winged one either. I saw that Ben Klein even has to develop creativity with practice. Pra yeah. It does take practice, no doubt. But the more you do it, the easier it is. But if you don't do it at all, then, you know. Uh, I don't think there's, I, I don't know. Oh, here we go. This is probably the one you're talking I don't know of an Instagram tag uh, other than Bennett Klein. I mean, um, a Fantasia, probably Fantasia. Sorry, Bennett Klein was mentioned in the, scra in the uh, chat. Um if you hashtag it Fantasia, probably. I always put the name, like most of the most of the artists I follow, uh, like this one is he's he goes by Nick Filbert. Is that right? Yeah, Nick Filbert. So if you at Nick Filbert and hashtag Fantasia, then you can put that in under Fantasia. Uh, Jamie. Is this the one then? The winged lion? I'm guessing this is the one. Hey, Miss Vicky B. We're drawing a rooster. <laughs> okay, so let me go back to... I think I want the bigger brush here. Go back to the big brush. Me. That's me cleaning my brush out in water. Okay. Okay, that's the one. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to take some of the light and do some like into like little feathers here. The highlighted ones. Let's see. Some of them are kind of smaller, and some of them are bigger, and some of them kind of cross over each other. So let's do a few like this, like that. And again, the light just kind of flashed us out. This brush is kind of rough. It may not be the best brush, but it is kind of giving me a dry brush look, which is kind of what I'm going for here. So these feathers are going to be stuck there. And let's like that. Maybe a one or two right there. So let's see about getting a few little feather edges here. Bye Jamie! Thanks for stopping in. Now I need the smaller brush. Is there any reason why we're drawing a rooster? No. Miss <laughs> um, Vicky, we were, I'm just working on the big art scroll, which is all it is, is a big roll of craft paper. And I flipped through some of my older ones to show what kind of things you can do on your big craft paper. It's more for, you need to let your daughter do this, Miss Vicky. Get out, I mean, it's just a roll of shipping paper. And then sketch, like here, let me roll back here. Here's where we drew, we drew a hen. There's going to be a hen down here. And then this chick rooster just happened to be standing on top of her because we ran out of room. 
I'm just kind of showing that it's fun. Just more than anything else. Just that it's fun. Let's start down here and go up. And just to play, we color everything. <laughs> yeah. Just a little br dry brush over it here. And you can go back and forth, you know, put some color down, go back and add some other. He's really not this light underneath if you look at, you know, reference, but I want it to be, so I'm putting it that way. <laughs> Probably put a little dark right back on underneath there too. But I want to get it blocked in. Because that's going to be there, that's going to be there, a little bit of light there. And then I want a nice highlight along his chest. And if you just think, if you, if you get in your mind, guys, get in your mind, oh, these are just some sketches. Don't think oh I'm doing a full on portrait and then you're going to freak yourself out just think I'm just doing some sketches some colors some ideas and if you want you can do I, I sometimes have done this Hang on, I'll show you a second let me just get some more of that blue on there do this like if you're you know just playing here so I'm going to use this color and you can put the names of the colors to this dark blue some black. I'll clean my brush. Some white. Some yellow ochre. Some sienna. And some red. And you can even write the names that you're using so that you don't forget, you know? So like, and these are all acrylic paint. This is primary red. Whoops, my marker is white shot here. Primary red. Burnt sienna. Moon yellow. White. Blue Harbor, this one's a Craft Smart, it's the only Craft Smart in my pile here, I usually use Americana, and this is Navy, and Black, so you can kind of keep your color, you know, and if, whether you do this in a big piece or, you know, just a large sketchbook, I'm telling you, people, I need to play. Okay. Now I don't have any chicken feet pictures here. I'm just going to kind of wing. I'm going to wing the feet. Okay, let's so just do a little. Because I want some lines in there and some kind of messy chicken feet here. And I'll probably put some little, little uh, claws on them. So let's just kind of put this in here. Water, kind of blend that out. I'll go in there with some, maybe some paint, or ink, or whatever. Um, that rooster is outstanding.
Okay, let's go back up here. And it just depends on how long you want to play and and practice and play with color or just zone out. Whatever you want to do. Thanks, Prisma. Hubby calls. What y'all doing? Me. The chicken dance. Hubby. Oh, you're exercising. I won't bother you. <laughs> Squaw moon. <laughs> Good one. Oh my gosh, that needs to go in the wing. I got. I'm filling the wing nut book today, people. Chicken dance. Hubs. Oh, you're exercising. I won't bother you. Yeah, the roosters and anamorphia. Yeah, I've blocked them in. I haven't colored them in yet. All right, let's just take a break from that for a minute. I need a little bit, kind of, just a little bit smaller brush, I think, for his face area. Let's see. Um, that one's still kind of big. I like my angle brushes. Angle brushes are my favorite, and I go through them so fast. Then when I go to look for one, I can't find one. That one's too big. Same size. Eh, here, let's just go with this. It's not much different than the other one, but... Okay, so now we're going to come back up here into lighten up this. Just make this a little orangey, pinky. Not too pink, but I want some highlights on the comb. And again, just want to play a little, mess with some highlights. His little chicken lips in there. Hey, Susan. Little highlight back here. There goes my mailman. I should probably go see if I got any happy mail today. I don't think I have anything ordered. And by the way, Cam is here. He's just still asleep. I'm hoping we'll get him to stream with me sometime this week. He's, he's going to be here all week. So let's put his little chicken eye in. Let's do that with the marker. Anybody that comes in will say, hey, chicken lips. <laughs> ah, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right, let me put a little bit more yellow on top of that. <laughs> <It's too funny. laughs> hey, chicken lips. Let's put a little white highlight on it.
oops, a little drip there. I got too much water in my brush. <laughs> What'd Sarah say? I missed it. You're moving, Sarah? Didn't y'all just move? And I missed something Linda's husband, Dan, opened. Oh, can I say that on air, Linda? Yay. I don't know if you want me to say it on air yet. I mean, is it official? No, you're not moving. Or yes, you're moving, but you haven't moved recently. I'm teasing. Oh, Packer Dye was saying they have... Ah, uh, oh, okay. Because they had a $5 movie and a free bought bag of popcorn, you're yeah. moving to... Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. Sorry for the misconstrue... <laughs> misconstrusion. The misconstrusion. <laughs> I don't want that. There's some... What you call it there? Still chalk. I'm going to add, make a little bit of darker red. Here's some purpley color because I want a little more shadow under here. Let's all continue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, I'll let him sleep. He was up late, and that's okay. I'm liking that little bit of purple in there. And a little blue to my red here to make a shadow, but I'm really liking that purple. Yeah, if y'all missed um, in the last part, uh, we did. Uh, I showed some of the, you know, some of our um, pictures that we went to the High Museum yesterday. Other than the traffic, which was horrendous in downtown Atlanta, <laughs> it was fun. Other than that. I can need a little bit darker even than that. And let's go back to some red. But I do need to go get some coffee and check my mail. I don't like to leave my mail out there now ever since somebody stole our mail and hacked our account. So I don't like to leave my mail alone. Although I can see right outside my mail. I, I can see right outside to my mailbox now because I'm at the window. Yes, it's a very stylish comb. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some of these feathers which I'm going to do that with yellow ochre, starting with some darker yellow. I'm going to add some sienna to it, and then I'll highlight it with some more, but I want this like the next shade down. Let's see what this looks like. It's not light enough. Okay, I'm going to have to go lighter. And his feathers kind of come down his back like this. And over the blue. And I'll flick some up there. Even some that are smooth and a few that are a little bit crazy.
your craft paper doesn't buckle. No, it doesn't. But again, I'm not adding a lot of water, guys. And that's true with most of the stuff I do. Now, if I do a wash, you know, like a color book acrylic wash, there's water to, you know, and it will buckle, like a Magimorphy and that, it'll buckle. But this right here, there's no water. No, hardly any water. I mean, there's a little bit in my, a little bit, you know, keep my brush moist. But really, there's no water. Okay, let's go back to the sienna here now. I'm going to flick some. And we can have some crossover here in a minute. I just want to get it. I'm just still kind of basing it in. It's not really a lot of detail yet, you know. I don't know that I'm going to add a lot of detail. I'm just kind of playing here with the chicken or the rooster. <laughs> so now these feathers are going to kind of flick over. And my paint is kind of getting dried out. I probably should get some more paint. And I, I might have to add a little bit of water to the paint if it starts drying out under the... Because i got a fan and lights and, you know, all that going on. Yeah, mostly straight paint, yeah. And Leah, I don't know if you saw, I asked earlier if you were the one that asked me about Twitter. If you're the one that messaged me on message about Twitter, I never saw an answer. So I don't know if you saw it or I didn't see it or. All right, so let me just keep rolling here. Okay, I'm gonna need just a drop of water in my paint because it's starting to dry out. I wanna use this up here. And I need a little bit more sienna. If y'all talk to me, don't forget guys, put it in caps. Because that's the only way I can keep up with chat. And I might have a few little flicking out like that too. Okay, well, uh, Lena, what's your name on Twitter? Because I looked for Lena and I couldn't find you. So you ha must have a different name on Twitter. A different Twitter name? What's your Twitter name so I can find you? Okay, let me write that down because I won't remember that. <laughs> I'll look for you. Okay. Okay, while these feathers are setting up before I start doing another layer on top, I'm going to go run check my mail and get some coffee, take a quick break. Okay, guys? So if y'all want to go grab some coffee too, or whatever. Let's see, I think it needs a little bit more. Down here. And did anybody watch that Amelia Earhart thing last night on on a on a History Channel? That was so good. Although a lot of the stuff they talked about they knew since 1968. It's like where we been? Why didn't they, you know, Anyway. No, I just if if you're blocked, it's probably because I thought you were either spam and, and I'm sure you weren't porn. I block porn and spam. And if you're new on Twitter and I thought you were spam, then that's probably why. I'll go check it out in a little bit. You miss it? Yeah, it was really good. I'm sure it'll be back on, Susan. 
Finish your packing tape transfer. They came out great. I know. Aren't they fun, Anne? I know. A pack or die. We're talking about um, Amelia Earhart on History Channel. New evidence of Amelia Earhart about her crashing in the Marshall Islands and all the witnesses and the photographs. You got new photographs, all kinds of stuff. It was really good. Yeah. Well, I they look here's here is the part that uh, about the looking form. This was before bombing of Pearl Harbor. The Japanese had the Marshall Islands, and it was like I don't know if you could consider it a no-fly zone back then, but you weren't that we weren't allowed to go uh, and search the Marshall Islands back in 19 what was it 30 I forget what year it was, but anyway. Um, so they couldn't go look on those islands. So anyway, okay, let me go check my mail, guys. And um, I'll leave my little rooster right here and get some coffee. So I'll be right back. Do I want BB flying along there? <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Um, yeah, it was really good. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, check my mail. No fun, happy mail, guys. Got some coffee. Let's continue on. Hey, Kiki, anybody else? Carla, Kmar, Pat B, probably Pat Van. I know everybody's trying to change your names or put in a new name. Okay, so. Back to our big rooster. Okay, so some of this chalk now, you can just erase. It's just a Conti crayon. I covered most of it up, but just so y'all know, you can erase it. Okay, um, I think I, I'm about ready to finish with the rooster, so I think what I'm gonna do 
let's just see. Let me get a. Uh, where is my? Looking for my palette knife. Ah, here we go. Let's play with the little palette knives. See if we can do some cool feathers with that. I don't know if we'll make it work, but okay. Let's pick up some colors and maybe just a touch of white. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Might mess it up, but we'll see. Um, just to give it some cool effect. Uh, not knowing what, not know if I like that too much. Let's see if I can block that out. Smear some out with my finger. So if we put some on, we just kind of scrape some on with the palette knife and then kind of blend it out with our fingers. That's kind of cool. Leroy Neiman esque. Y'all know who Leroy Neiman is. I'm going to put some feathers over this one, so let's put some in there like that, and then kind of smear it in, keep some of it a little fluffy. I just want a little texture in there, like, you know, and the best way for me to make textures with the palette knife. All right, so let me clean that off now, let's go in here with the Sienna and the... Go over the top of this one. Give it some texture, but still keep them keep the feathers going in the direction that I want them to go. Almost could add a little bit of I could put dark brown, but let's just add a little black since that's what I got here. Oh, I'm gonna need more sienna in there. Like the scratchy look, yeah. Needs more scratchiness. And then we can go back in with a few uh, brush strokes in a minute and flick in a few. I just kind of want some texture in there, you know? I just don't like it so flat. And I'll go in with a dry brush. That'll probably fix it or add to it. It looks so fluffy. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm going for, the fluffy chicken, okay? Or the rooster, rather. I just kind of want to get some texture in here. I mean some, yeah, so it's not flat. So if I put it in like this and just smear a few of them out, maybe flip a couple of them up. He's flipping us off. <laughs> I'm going to go in here with some dry brush here in a minute, guys. I just want some under texture. I just like, I like something going on in there. It gives it a little more life, you know. If it doesn't work, I don't care. <laughs> I just like to play. All right, so now I'm going to go back with the blue here and some little... A little on the legs there. It just, I don't know. That's a little on the, it makes it a little on the abstract side, but also a little more dimension and life, you know? Okay, now let me, let, I have to either let this dry or hit it with the heat gun. And I think I'm going to hit it with the heat gun because I want it to like move along. All right. Chicken scratch, there we go. <laughs> That's what I put on my jeans um, bagpipe chickens, chicken scratch. Do some double loaded brush strokes. Make sure this is dry though. 
do some double loaded brush strokes on top. See how that works. Okay, so let's see. I need more color. So I can add some wet color here. And I probably need a little bit more yellow ochre. Alright, let's just see what we can do here. Come on. Now, let me get a nice big brush. Alright. So let's see. Oh, it's still wet. I don't want to get my shirt in there. Alright, so let's see if we can double load our brush and see what we can get. A couple of just some cool dry brush feathers in here. I'll make sure I keep my paint going the same way. And I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is get it to where I can pull them to the point. Oh, I want to pull them to the, off the page. You know, kind of like the, some feather action going there. And maybe just a couple coming cross over. So let's have a couple cross down. And I don't want to lose all that texture I put in, but it, I want it to be more underneath. a little more dark right in there I think. let's have a couple extras coming right over okay now let's go well let's go ahead and do this blue right here okay. is that the mailman coming back I guess he forgot one of the neighbor's mail. It makes me smile. You have the same paintbrush. <laughs> I, and guys, I just buy cheap craft brushes. Seriously. There's mm -hmm. no... Um, my brushes are not expensive brushes. Alright, so now I'm getting the light blue and the white. And I'm going to come in here and add some little tinier feathers, like right over here. And I'm not even looking at reference anymore, guys. I'm just making this up. <laughs> just making it up. And I'm just like, oh, the feathers are going to flap over that little leg right there. <laughs> and then on the, on the leg itself, it's probably going to have some lighter feathers, like right here, because this is where the leg kind of bows out, you know, sticks out, so this would be bigger, lighter, I should say. So anyway, back to the Ooh. Amelia Earhart thing. It was really good. I Ooh. mean, I think that they really did crash and that the Japanese really did have her. back during the war and stuff. Thanks, Miss Allie. All right, let's have maybe a couple little, you know, coming right over the leg like that. And the pictures they had, that's some cool pictures that they discovered accidentally. Yeah, I don't know, you know, you wonder how much, you know, accidentally means. But <laughs> uh, came across some that were 
misfiled or something in the National Archives or shouldn't have been in the National Archives. It was really good. And the pictures are all online. They're all over the place now. You can just go look up Amelia Earhart pictures. New photos or whatever. Okay, so I'm liking that. Let's go back to this part here. Mommy May's bull May, are you bullying Dot? Do you need to go to the do you need to go to the uh, bandit corner, which is where the mini bar is? <laughs> do you do you need to go over there where the mini bar is? <laughs> so I got the two colors here. <laughs> Let's have a few just kind of flick up here around his face. Whoops. <laughs> I gave the rooster sassy pants. I did give him sassy pants. <laughs> And yeah, I'm not even looking at references. <laughs> I just go, I know I'm just going to add wherever I feel like adding, flicking some feathers. We're flicking feathers, yeah. And these are supposed to be really longer, though, I know that. And then kind of flick over the tops. You know, get them going kind of like the way that you, they're supposed to kind of go. And if you flick a couple extras like crossing over like this, that might have been a little too much though. It kind of looks really cool. <laughs> I just like, I mean, this thing is overworked like crazy, but I don't care. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> we just really went to town on this ba this bad boy. All right, so let's add some final little feathers down here. Let's get a little white in there. I'm telling you, I f I'm I'm channeling my inner Leonard ne uh, Leonard Nimoy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> maybe that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, ne uh, Nimoy, oh gosh, now I've slipped, my name slipped the na his name. You know, uh, let me show you a picture. I'll show you who I'm talking about. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. Alright, let's go away from the chicken for a minute. I think I took a picture of it, but let's just, in case I did it. Um, artist, hang on. Oh no, chicken artist! I gotta, I gotta get rid of the chicken. <laughs> I put in chicken artist. <laughs> artist. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hang on, where is it? Oh, you know, what's his name? Now I can't even think of his name. Um, because now Leonard Nimoy wants to just keep popping up. Oh my gosh. Wish your hair looked like that. <laughs> oh, uh, he did sports art. Now I can't think of why did his name just sports artist. Leroy, Leroy Neiman? Yeah, Leroy Neiman. There we go. Leroy Ooh. Neiman. <laughs> Hang on, let me find out. Uh, here, let me show you some one of his. Let me go to images. I'll show you who I'm talking about. Leroy Neiman. <laughs> not Leroy. Uh, I mean, not uh, Leonard. Le yeah, Leroy Neiman. Okay, here, let me see. Um, something like... Um, 
they're just all like very here here's Rocky let's show you Rocky see see <laughs> yeah Leroy Neiman <laughs> All right, let's finish up this chicken. Okay, it got dark again. Hang on. Let's fix the light. The sun went behind the clouds. <laughs> sun went behind the clouds. I'm sure it'll be back out in a minute to flash us out. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm, uh, we're having fun. That's what matters. He would pay big money for those. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop on the chicken. Or on the rooster, rather. But we do need to do our Monday giveaway, don't we? We should do that after a while. If y'all are still hanging around here in a little bit. See, I can't stop! I can't stop! <laughs> I have to stop again. I can't stop putting feathers. When painting a rooster in the dark, does that mean your chicken is all dark meat? Oh, brother. You girls, I got some corn balls here, I'll tell you. <laughs> I should do some more sketching is what I need to do. Okay, so we're going to stop on the chicken. Or the rooster, rather. <laughs> Let me hit it with the heat gun so I can roll it. Yeah, they changed the chat for you guys. They, it's uh, not a flash chat now. I don't know what kind it is. I gotta make sure this is dry because it's gonna roll onto my lap. So then we'll do some sketching. Aw, bye Susan, thanks. I need to put another piece of paper on top of it while I roll it. So, yeah, because I don't want this rolled out on my lap. But anyway, we start and look, I've practically erased. Maybe I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll show you my, well, I don't know. How much time do we have? I've got an hour. Uh, anyway, yeah, we were doing some sketching with uh, just a Conti crayon. And um, this is all now on my shirt. All this is now on my shirt because I rolled it toward me instead of away from me. But we have him standing on her just because we ran out of room. She's going to be the white a white hen, you know. I don't even know how many toes they have. Three, four. <laughs> and then, you know, gonna have some fluffy feathers coming out here. And let's just give her an eye. 
let's at least give her an eye. Okay, so I guess I could roll it up the wrong way. I can make it roll the other way just so it's not like in my So now we got to think of something else to draw. But anyway, there's our little rooster. I'll have to redo the lighting again because now the sun went behind a cloud. <laughs> so I need to clip clip the end here so that it's not unrolling. Let me see. Let me hold this down with the heat gun while I find a clip. Couple paper clips. Okay. I'm gonna clip the ends so it's not rolling away. And I can keep going. Okay. So now it's not going to move. Okay, so how to roll a chicken. <laughs> I'm not going to sneeze. Oh my gosh, hang on. So yeah, it kind of reminds me, Eileen, when pigs fly. <laughs> I showed those earlier today, too. Okay, so what should we draw? What should we sketch? Maybe I should do it. Let me see about just doing it in white pencil. It's not going to show up as much. See, I'm trying to make it so it shows up for you guys. It just doesn't show up as much as it will with um, Conti crayon. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, here's our little, one of our little, um, eagles. We did this on, this is from 2015 on the other roll. I cut the other roll up. Because once you start getting this full, it's hard to get back to where you were. When it's like feet and feet and feet, you know, of it. Alright, so, let's move this out of the way. Let's see here. All right. What should we draw? Chicken patties. <laughs> uh, what would y'all? What, what? What animal? Give me an animal. Let's draw some animals. Let's just sketch. We'll sketch for a little bit. I draw. Nah. I've been drawing robots, aliens, and. Uh, stuff like that in my in my summer some sketchbook summer book. Okay, hang on, guys. Okay, I'm there. Um, I just I have a panda. I just showed. Let me wash my hands, guys. I got chalk all over me. Conti crayons making me sneeze. Alright, let's see what we got here. Fox. Now I said sock monkey. Hedgehog. See, we some of this stuff we've drawn so many times, guys. I guess you maybe y'all just haven't been around. Let me do hedgehog. Let's see. We've drawn a lot of this stuff. 
guess my animal hair. <laughs> Miss Vicky. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get the paint off my hands. <laughs> All right, let's see about a hedgehog. Because they are cute. We'll draw a couple little hedgehogs. Let me get a, let me get a, I got some, let me see. I thought I had some Sienna Conti crayons too. Here's a black. I'll just get a black one. Conti crayons are not as messy as chalk, but they still are mess. I mean, they're not non-messy. I thought I had some Sienna something here too, but I think this is all just my black and white pencils. So I'll just go with black and white. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's do a cute little hedgehog. Let's see. Let me find something. It's got to have some legs. You want one with legs because they're just cute that way. And we just colored a hedgehog. Remember, we just did Bennett Klein's. All right, let me play with my lighting again. We colored Bennett Klein's hedgehog. Yeah, that looks okay, I think, for now. All right, so let's let's just use this little scribble here. A naked mole rat. <laughs> <laughs> and then his other eye is like be what we can't see much of it over here. Ray in a while. Well, I, I can't say I've never done one on the show, but I think it's probably been a while since I've done a stingray. We were only we only got about 45 minutes left. I don't have time to draw Miss Amelia. All right, let's see how big I want him to be. Looking like a rat if I'm not careful. Do them both at the same time. Maybe I can. Let's do them both with the square edge. Let's see. 
I'm going to do them both at the same time here. Because, you know, they're spiky and they have maybe, I don't know if I can hold them both right. I need a longer one. Let me get a bigger white and I can hold it. Maybe we can do them both at the same time. I broke it. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. I'm getting lazy. I'm trying to do them both at the same time. Yeah, it's not going to work. i got to do them one at a time. One at a time. And the Queen's and I has a pet hedge. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? I don't know if that I'd want one as a pet, but... Uh, see, I'm trying to do this and I need to do it with paint, really. And I don't like getting all chalky because it makes me sneeze. Oh, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> uh, we could do Essence of Hedgehog and not do all his little spiky things, but let's go ahead and do it. I should have just painted him white and then, or black and white and paint, use paint. Instead of trying to do it all with just sketching. But that's alright. It's fun. A coin's about, okay, got that hello one. It's like, it can't be real. You held one and you thought they can't be real? Don't their spikes kind of lay back? I mean, don't they, like, lay back softly? <sighs> I'm pushing too hard. Trying to get some get some going here and I keep pushing too. I don't want to get this in my shirt either. Don't forget Janet streaming at one. Monkey Island Madness, Janet. Eileen, she says she doesn't know what she's doing till you tell her. <laughs> I keep crumbling my Conti crayon. Let's do a little more behind the ear there. Some darker. I know I need, really need my brown Conti, but I don't know where it is to put some brown in there. Bye, Miss Vicky. Happy Hedgy. Never completely soft, just less rigid. Okay. Dang. 
dang, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> Whose idea was it to draw a hedgehog? <laughs> Seriously, my arm is getting tired. Because <laughs> I'm using my whole arm to do this. <laughs> I should have went with paint. We would have been done. <laughs> uh, well, Chatty Kathy, that is, um, uh, I can tell you that uh, every all artists can draw some things from their head, but no artist can draw everything without reference. I'm telling you. You can admire people who can draw from, mem from memory, like, let's just say, um, like a, uh, someone draws horses all the time could probably draw a horse from memory like crazy but probably couldn't draw a face people that do portraits all the time probably could not draw a horse from memory the, it's a misnomer to say that real artists don't use reference material that's just a complete total lie <laughs> all artists use reference trust me <laughs> they do no unless I mean maybe if you have a photographic memory Maybe. Now, can I draw like a cartoon hedgehog without looking at... Probably could just draw a hedgehog without looking at anything. Like a little cartoony one. He might end up with a pointed ear instead of a round ear. He may end up with a pointy nose instead of a round nose. So, yeah, you can draw from memory, but will it, you know... No, everybody should learn how to draw it from real life. If you can, if I had a hedgehog here, I'd much rather draw the hedgehog from real life than from a picture. But it just so happens I don't have a hedgehog in my in my house. <laughs> so, you know, I just don't happen to have one. <laughs> Roosters either. <laughs> Anyway, it's just it's just not um, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't use a reference material. Seriously, don't ever let anybody guilt you into that that lie. Okay, so let's see. I think I want to have I'm have a little bit of a let's have a little foot here and then. And then his little fur is going to come over the top of that. Maybe he has some little claws here. Not sure how many toes. <laughs> And even if you're not a, a realistic artist, you know, you don't do realistic portraits or anything. If you want to know what something looks like, you want to know what that thing looks like, not guess. You know, even if it's just for practice. Spike Lee, that's good. I like that. <laughs> Name this hedgehog Spike Lee. Anyway, I just see so many artists, you know, especially young people. Oh, we can't use a reference. Oh, my God. We can't use a reference. Like, who told you that? <laughs> if you're looking, if you're outside looking at a tree and you want to draw a tree and you're outside drawing it from life, it's a reference. Hogs aren't allowed in Georgia? Really, Kimmy? I did not know that. 
Well, there's another reason why I don't need one. <laughs> Seriously, did not know that. I did not know hedgehogs were not allowed in Georgia. I mean, is that you mean like as pets? I'm sure there are hedgehogs, right? Somewhere in Georgia. I mean, other than a zoo, of course. You know. people in their place. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I didn't mean it to sound mm. mean. I mean, I know. I get the teacher voice, as, as Jean calls it. I get the teacher voice, and, and I, you know, I'm not a teacher, but you get that voice when, no, now children. <laughs> but some things just really irritate me. You know, I hate it when young people get the idea, you know, young artists. Oh my gosh, I can't use a reference. I'm not a real artist if I use a reference. Well, tell that to every famous painter in the history of the world. <laughs> Whether they drew from life or, or um, reference, you know. I think there's a little ear back there. Anyway, there's my pet peeve for the day. <laughs> oh, I know. I know prison. Um, DeMonte said, hedgehogs are very destructive in the wild. Oh, they were just legalized to have hedgehogs as pets in your state or anywhere, pack or die. I haven't really researched, you know, hedgehog, um, how much, you know, about them because I don't really have no plans to ever own one. daughter's friend is starting college in Jordan and she could not bring her hedgehog. <laughs> okay. Well, I, yeah. Now, but is that maybe, that might be a, uh, is, is that just, I mean, if a state thing or is like Packer Die just said that they're allowed to have, I mean, a year ago, but just, I guess it's state by state. Is that how it works? State by state maybe? whisker didn't mean to do that that's why you do whiskers and hairs little hairs last no it's a state thing okay I see oh that's interesting y'all are going to be some hedgehog experts by the time Okay, I think little Hedgie's done. I'm leaving this face brown, the color of the the color of the paper here. Put a little bit of shadow here. Drop in between clean to say, hey Marie. Thanks for being here. Okay. Anybody got any questions? Don't ask me any hedgehog questions, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
was a little hedgehog sketch. Now you want one. <laughs> cute aren't they <laughs> it's like a shadow right there <laughs> she's an actor because of poor little thing oh oh Kimmy sorry to hear that Okay, thanks, May. Thanks, guys, for being here. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for being here. Don't email. Well, you can email me about hedgehog information. I actually like it when YouTubers in, in give me information. Like, we talk about something here, and we didn't know. Although, sometimes we figure it out by the end of the show. But we'll find out, you know, then they... YouTubers will email and say, oh, this is that and that, and I, I enjoy the information because they're nice about it. You know what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the mean people, <laughs> which we don't really have that many. We have hardly any mean people. We really don't. You still, oh, I don't want a monkey. Um, my dad, um, in, when he was in Air Force, he worked with the monkeys and the animals that went into space. I don't want a monkey. <laughs> So, okay, guys. Well, thanks for being here. If you're watching this again, don't forget that our Janet is streaming at one. And if you guys will hang on, I'll be... I'll be right back. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me just make a little. Let's have him. I know what. We'll take a picture like, like he's like he's drawing maybe. <laughs> Let me get a bigger piece of Conti crayon here. Let's get like this. How's that? Like he's drawing with it. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Let me wash. I can't even stop the recording till I wash my hands. touch anything and get this um, uh, crayon everywhere. <laughs> oh, you meant for me to draw one. Oh, you want me to draw a baboon. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to, I, I started another roll here. If y'all missed, um, if you missed part, um, part one, I showed a whole bunch and my fingers are still, I got to get my craft scrubby out. I did a whole bunch, uh, showed a whole bunch of other drawings from my um, old scroll. And so this is the new scroll. <laughs> Let me take a quick picture of him here. And um, so we're going to, we're starting another one. So you can see I'm rolling it up. So there we go. And if you guys will hang for a minute, I appreciate everybody being here and I appreciate... I didn't get to um, um, go through my pencils. Maybe we'll do that Wednesday. Go through the pencils and some supplies. Do, you know, it's not really what's in my bag because it's only what's in my black and white bag. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, exactly, Erin. So, thanks, guys, for watching. And, um... I don't know. We might do some impromptu streaming because Cameron's here all week. But we'll see how that goes. You know, get him to draw for us or something. So, okay, guys. <laughs> Thanks.